It's the St. Louis crime story that's taken social media by storm and she's at the center of it. Tonight, the name Elizabeth Cook is spreading across social media worldwide like wildfire and it can all be traced back to a South City theft attempt. News 4's Russell Kinsall is investigating. Is this even real? Russell? That's a real question, but these are real people. Who Tell us about it, Russell. You see next to me Tell in us. a real jail, but all of this sounds like a well-crafted script for a movie. I'm so sorry. Is this not my car? Is this what not my car? Is this is this not my is car? This not my car. I'm sorry. Is this not mine? It's why I threw all this other person's shit out of it. What is this? August 4th, the owner of a car recorded a confrontation with a suspected car thief in South St. Louis. The woman, later identified as Elizabeth Cook, claimed a friend sent her there to get the car because her car broke down. Hey, I will call my friend right now. I don't care. Here. Get, get out of here. Look, call the police. I'm so call sorry. the police. Call the police. Just let me get my purse. Get please. no. Get out of my, purse. Get 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 out of my look, vehicle. Look, look, look. The unidentified man claimed later on social media that Cook left behind her phone and that he accessed her Facebook page with info he got off the phone before turning it over to police. Under life events on Elizabeth Cook's Facebook page, he put started new job at new job at stealing. Boy, did he fucking release her information. Oh, guys. And changed her profile great. picture. And oh. Photo. Tonight, Cook is in jail in McCoupin County, charged with oh, driving man. a stolen car and possession of meth. One concern raised on Cook's Facebook page was her connection to an older ex-con named Bobby Phillips. Last week, I met Bobby Phillips. Bobby Phillips! Bobby Phillips has spent 43 years in prison for a murder that he committed when he was 17. Phillips died days after Cook met him and convinced him to make her the sole beneficiary in his will. The St. Louis Medical Examiner's Office tells News 4 his death was ruled an accident, noting an underlying heart condition exacerbated by methamphetamines. Hello. As you notice, that's your boy. <laughs> oh man, sorry. It's a good time to announce we're doing a retrospective, right? Uh, this is the first story we covered, yep. and it got me on the news. Yep. Oh, hello, hello, guys. Cook's Facebook page has grabbed global attention. The man controlling it posted reams of Cook's messages that appear to be with accomplices about committing other crimes. This lady was just making the runs, man. Some Appalachian crime. Cook's Facebook page was taken down. They put me on the news I, over it. I can't believe that they used some of my this? first videos. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, that dude thought that was so funny that that's how you said that. Yeah, I'm sassy enough some that ended up across intern. the country. Yeah, some intern somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> saw yeah. this. Yeah. Had to look at this. Yeah. Well, shout out Russell at KMOV and whatever intern is a, is a murky out there lurking. <laughs> it was the coolest experience. Uh, yeah. We ended up on the news. <laughs> and Elizabeth Cook is a train wreck. Yeah. The whole story was a train wreck. It ended up like hitting really close to home. I knew some of the people involved because it happened in St. Louis. I'm from Northwest Arkansas. And the methy people, they talk. <laughs> so... I knew some I knew some drama. It ended up with the whole Elizabeth Cook saga on the YouTube channel. And you know, I mean, as far as I know, she's still in jail. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know if she was ever arrested for potentially having something to do with the death of Bobby Cook, but in my I will Bobby always Bobby Phillips. Bobby Phillips. Yeah. My bad. Bobby Phillips. That's Elizabeth Bobby Cook. Cook. <laughs> it's been a minute since we've talked since I've ranted it's been about a long this. Time. It's been a while. It's been a while. We've uh, we've been through hundred and fifty videos at this point. Yeah. Yeah, we well, sure have. 150 current videos. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been a minute. <laughs> yeah, it really has. <laughs> it was a, it was a crazy one to follow. That's for sure. I I really hope at some point she is charged with being implicit in the death of Bobby Phillips. And I hope if there's anybody out there who's a survivor of Bobby Phillips, like if you're a relative someone who loved him, reach out and insist that it happens because there's something more to that story. And the police, in my opinion, just brushed it aside like it was just a homeless dude who died of a meth overdose. But I think there's a lot more to that story. And, you know, I'll let you guys dig into it. It's still on the channel as far as I know. Yeah, there's still some footage of it left. Yeah. 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 There's still there's still plenty of Elizabeth Cook out there on YouTube. And what a good way to start our, our retrospective rants. Yeah. Than you know something like this. All right. This yeah, this was a great idea. Yeah. 